Hi guys, welcome back to another workout at home brought to you by Move um, through the WAC. My name's Justin, back again for another core workout, uh, core and stretch. Hopefully last one was pretty good, so looking to repeat that. Uh, similar kind of format to last time, we're going to be looking at engaging our core and getting a good workout for about 25-30 minutes, finishing up with about 10-ish, 15 minutes of stretching. Um, as, like, or as before, I'm not going to go into a ton of detail as far as how to do the core work, uh, but main thing that you really want to focus on, again, is keeping that low back down if you're lying on your back, tightening up those core muscles to prevent your low back from arching. That engages your transverse abdominis, which is a really, really deep core stabilizer, really important for injury prevention, specifically regarding low back pain, and it's just a really, really good way to make sure you're engaging all of the abdominal muscles. If anyone has any questions about how to do the exercises or additional exercises, feel, feel free to email me through the WAC. My email address is jgerhartz, G-E-R-H-A-R-T-Z, at thewack.com. So without further ado, we'll get right into it. First one's going to be a warm-up featuring three exercises, inchworms, plank ups, and squat holds. Squat is a really good exercise to engage your core and engage those uh, deep abdominal stabilizers. So. Starting off inchworms, you're going to start off standing, and I'll give you two different views. How you do this one is bend down towards the floor, walk yourself out into a high plank, and walk yourself right back. So that's a front view, side view will be here, walk yourself out, and then walk yourself back. Doing your best not to let your back arch or your stomach sag down to the floor as you do that. Second one are plank ups, I'll give you a front view for this one, you're going to start off in a low plank extend up to a high plank, and then back down. That's one rep. We're gonna do six on each side, so six with the left arm leading, and then six with the right arm leading. Okay? Last one is gonna be squat holds. Squat position, give you a side view. Keep your knees behind your toes here. Squat down so that your femur or your thigh is parallel with the floor. We're gonna hold it for a couple seconds, and then come back up. That one we're gonna go for 10. So. Eight inchworms, six plank ups with each side leading, and then 10 squat holds. Then we'll transition on to uh, another series after that. But that's our warm up. So we'll start with those inchworms. Looking for eight of these. Three, two, one, we're going down, walking ourselves out. One. Two. Good job. Three, and all of these are meant as a good warm-up, loosening up the core as well as our other muscles, getting a bit of mobility going before we hit the bulk of our workout. Six, nicely done. Seven, last one of this set. Eight, good, right into the plank ups. We'll start with the left side leading. Low plank, and up. That's one. Two. I went with the wrong arm there. Five, one more. Six. Now right arm. Two. Three. Four. Five. And six. Good job. Last one, squat holds. Throughout the workout, warm up including. Hold three, two, one. That's one. Make sure you grab water and hydrate as you need. Two. Three. Four. Good. Five. Six. And if this is really easy, feel free to hold it for a little bit longer at the bottom. That'll make the workout and the squat a little bit harder. Two more. Good. One more. Ten. Excellent. Like I was saying in the middle of the warm-up there, if you didn't catch that, make sure to have some water nearby. Make sure to take breaks as you need. Um, and adjust the workout accordingly and appropriately. Don't want anybody to get hurt. But nicely done. We're going to go through two more sets of that entire series before we move on to another one. Okay? 
take a little bit longer for a break if you need, feel free to pause the video. Otherwise, if you're ready to go, we'll jump right into the inchworms. Okay. Eight more. Three, two, one, and go. One. Two. Three. Keep that core nice and strong, stomach engaged. Four. Five, nicely done. Six, two left. Seven, last one is eight. Good, right into our plank ups, left, left, left arm leading. One, two, four, five, one more on the left, six. Switching to the right, one, two, three, good job, four, two left, five, and six. Good job, squat holds, three, two, one, and down, one, two, three, good. Before we start the rest of the workout, the only materials you'll need, if you're not gonna keep up with me or keep a long uh, time with me, the only thing you'll need is a stopwatch. Preferably a carpeted surface so that you can lay down comfortably or a yoga mat, whatever you have available. Good job, two left. Nice. And 10, good. Grab some water if you need, we got one more round of that. Uh, if you heard that jingling through the video, it's my dog. So hopefully she didn't distract you too much. I'd have her join us for the workout, but there's no way she would let me uh, get through a good workout. She'd be licking my face the entire time. So we got one more series, inchworms first, plank ups, then squat holds. But you guys are doing great. We only got one more round, then we'll hit the real workout. Okay? Again, make sure to remember to grab water as you need. Inchworms are going to be first, three, two, one, and go. Eight of these. One. Two. Three. Four, good job. Five. Six, good work, keep that up, keep that up, two left. Seven, there we go, last one. Eight, nice. Right into our plank ups, left arm leading. Three, two, one, and up. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, right arm. One, two, three, four, five, six. Great job. Squat holds our last. One last round of ten. And down, hold, hold, up. Good. Two, remember to keep that butt back behind you like you're sitting in a chair. And don't let those knees go past your toes. Five. Six. Seven. Good job. Eight. Nine. Last one. And that's a good ten. Great job. Grab some water if you need. Grab a towel. I'll explain the next series. So first one are gonna be hip dips. You're gonna be in a side plank here. Hand can be on our hips, up to the ceiling. We're just gonna drop our hip down to the ground and back up. One, two, just like so. If that's pretty difficult, you can absolutely go from your knees like so. Try to keep a straight line from your shoulders, through your hips, through your knees. You can do it this way. If balancing from your ankles isn't gonna to happen today, that's okay. 
that's just our modification. So we're going to go through 12 on each side, 12 on our left side, 12 on our right. Next one is going to be 30 seconds worth of accordions. Accordions, we lying on our back, knees are going to start off bent with our feet on the floor, hands around our ears or behind our head. If you go behind your head, just make sure you're not pulling your neck forward like so, because your neck's probably not going to like that. But the accordion crunch brings your elbows to your knees, right above your belly button, folding forward or folding inward like an accordion, back down and repeat, like so. Again, remember not to pull on your head. We got that one for 30 seconds. Last one are around the world planks. This one's kind of fun. Uh, it's a 60 second plank exercise. You're gonna start in a four point position. Nice wide stance with our feet. One arm is raised and elevated, holding that plank with one arm up for 15 seconds. Once 50 seconds is done, switch to the other arm. 15 seconds here. 15 seconds with one foot up, 15 seconds with the other foot up. 60 seconds total, making our way around the world or around the body. Uh, that'll be one series and we're gonna go through that whole three exercise sequence, three total times. So without further ado, we are gonna start with our hip dips. So start on our left side. I'm gonna go feet down. You can either go a staggered stance like so or stacked, whatever allows you to keep better position. So 12 on each side, hand can be on your hip or up in the air, whatever you want. Drop it down, back up, that's one. Two, three, four, should feel it work right in our obliques here. Five, six, seven, eight, good job. Nine, 10, two left. 11 and 12, nice, good work. Switch to the other side. Starting up and go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good. Make sure to breathe normally. You got it. Eight, nine, ten, two left. Eleven and twelve. Good. Accordions, 30 seconds. We'll start in four, three, two, one, and go. Elbows to knees right above the belly button. Make sure to breathe however is comfortable for you. There is no ordered sequence to it. Just breathe comfortably. Good job. We're 15 seconds in. Over halfway. Good job. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Excellent. And lastly, around the world planks, starting out in our low plank position. The wider your feet are, the easier the exercise. So we'll start down here. We're going to go 50 seconds with each limb raised. I'll start with the left arm. You feel free to do whatever order you'd like. So starting here and go. 15 seconds with the left arm raised. Nice. Good job. Try to keep your butt down. Hips level, don't be tipped, don't be rocked, don't be rotated. Two, one, and switch, other arm. Nice, good job. Try not to tip, try not to rock, I know it's tough. Good, five seconds left. And switch, one foot up. Good work, keep that butt down. Nice, good job, good job, keep it up. And switch, last leg. There you go, good job. A little less than 10. Five, four, three, two, one, good. Good job. It's a tougher one. Good job though, this first set is through. We've got two more sets just like that. Grab some water, grab a sweat rag, whatever you need. We'll resume in just a little bit, give you a little bit of time for your uh, heart rate to come down, a little bit of time for your muscles to recover. But you're doing good, well done. So we're gonna start with those hip dips. We'll go left arm down, left side down, I should say. Position your feet however you'd like. 12 dips in three, two, one, and down. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two left. Good, and twelve. Excellent. If that one's tough, feel free to just do a side plank. Regular side plank is pretty challenging as it is, so don't feel like you have to keep up with me. Modify it as you need. 12 on this side in three, two, one, and down, up, one, two, three, four, five. Nice. Keep it up. Keep it up. Seven, eight, nine, ten, two left. Good and good. Accordions, 30 seconds. In four, three, two, one, and go. Elbows to knees right above the belly button. Good job, good job. Remember, don't tug on your neck. We're 10 seconds in. If this is really hard or if it's bothering your neck or back, you can absolutely do just upper body as so. Whatever is appropriate for you. You've got 10 seconds left. Nice, keep it up. Four, three, two, one, excellent. Great job. Around the world planks in four, three, two, one, and up. Left arm up or right, whichever you prefer. Again, try not to be tipped. Don't let your butt arch up like so. Keep a nice flat surface in three, two, one, and switch. There we go. Keep holding, keep holding, you got it. And foot. Good job, good job. Less than 10 here. Don't let that butt come up. Four, three, two, one, and switch. Last round here. Good, keep holding, keep holding. Five, four, three, two, one, and excellent. Good job, set number two's in the books. I made a mistake wearing a long sleeve shirt, so now I'm starting to sweat. That's the point, right? Good job. We got one more series through, then we've got one final core circuit before we end with some stretching. So, nicely done. We'll have you back in the gym in no time. Hip dips will be first. We'll go left leg down or left side down. Again, take longer breathers or longer recovery time if you need. We've got 12 more each side in three, two, one, and down. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good job. Over half. Nine, ten. 11 and 12. Great job. Other side. In three, two, one, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nice. Keep it up. Keep it up. Eight, nine, ten, two left. Good and good. Great job. Accordion crunches. We'll start in five, four, Three, two, one, and go. Good job. Last 30 seconds here, finishing with that plank series, then you're done with our first circuit. Good job. Halfway, 15 more seconds. Good work, keep it up, keep it up. We're almost there, less than 10, less than 10. Three, two, one, and good. Around the world is last. We'll start in four, three, two, one, and left arm up. Good job. Keep that core nice and tight. The wider the feet are, the easier it is. The more narrow they are, the harder. And switch. Great job, keep that up. Keep those hips level. 
five, four, three, two, one, leg. Don't let that butt come up. Good job. Almost there, two, one, and switch. Last round, you got it. Last 15, here we go, here we go. Good, keep holding, keep holding. We're almost there, just five more seconds. Five seconds, that's it. Two, one, good. Nicely done. That's a good first series, nicely done. We got another series of three, three sets through, and that's, the, or that's it for the core workout. We'll finish with some good stretching, but you're doing great. Nicely done. So first one here will be Russian twists. I'll show you three separate ways to do this. So we'll start with the easiest first. Keep a nice straight back, core muscles and stomach engaged, feet are down. Pretend like you're holding an, or just a, any object in your hands, rotating from side to side, like so, just like that. Okay, we're gonna go for 30 seconds. That's the most basic form. A little bit tougher, same position, keeping our feet down and just leaning further back. You're gonna feel your stomach have to work harder to hold you up. So make it a little bit tougher just by leaning further back, okay? The most difficult way to do this or the more advanced version is A, hold a, if you have it available, heavier weight, kettlebell, gallon of milk, milk jug filled with water, whatever weighs a little bit more and doing the same position or feet up, same position or same movement. If you're really looking to make it tough, keep that heavier weight, hold it here with the feet up, rotating just like so. So modify it however you need, okay? Next one is gonna be scissor kicks. You can do it multiple different ways. 30 seconds here as well. You can either have your hands under your feet if you feel like your low back keeps arching and you can't keep it down. We're just doing big kicks up and down. Trying not to let our feet touch the ground. If it's really, really tough, you can definitely go one foot at a time with the other foot resting on the ground. Totally up to you, modify it however you need. If, that's bo if both of those are pretty easy, go with your hands behind your head instead of under your hips, completing the same motion. But the main objective here is don't let your low back arch off the ground, okay? Don't let that happen. I shouldn't be able to slide a hand underneath your back, okay? That's how you make sure that the right ab muscles are engaged. So we'll go 30 seconds with those, the scissor kicks, and the last one will be bird dogs, okay? Starting off in a four point position, nice flat back, extending the arm and opposite leg out in front and behind you, just like so, okay? Try not to tip, rock, or rotate, okay? So we're gonna do 10 with the right and left leg going, and then 10 with the left, uh, left arm, right leg going, okay? We'll run through that whole series three times and then that'll be it. We'll finish with some stretching. So we'll start with the Russian twists. Modify it however you need. We're gonna go for 30 seconds, starting in five, four, three, two, one, and go. Rotating side to side. If you're going with feet up, try not to let your legs shift like so, keep them nice and still, okay? Good work. Halfway, halfway, 15 seconds. Good job, keep that up. Good. Five, four, three, two, one, and good. Scissor kicks are next in three, two, one, and go. If this is bothering you ne your neck, you can rest it on the ground like so as well. Keeping that upper chest elevated and shoulder blades off the ground will help to engage your upper abs. So however you need to modify. Nicely done, keep that low back down. We got 10 seconds, almost there. Don't let the back arch. Four, three, two, one, good. Bird dogs are last. Right arm, left leg to start in three, two, one, and extend. One, two. We're gonna stay all on one side to start, just to get the single side a little bit more fatigued. Six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Switching sides and go. One, two, three. Good. Five. Nice. Keep it up. Keep it up. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Wonderful. First round is done. Grab a little bit of a breather. We go right back to the top of the Russian twist whenever you are ready. Okay? Give us maybe 20 seconds or so. Let us recover. Otherwise, if you're ready to go, feel free to fast forward or just start whenever you're ready. Okay? So Russian twists, pick whichever one is appropriate for you. We'll start in five, four, three, two, one, and go. Rotating side to side. Keeping our feet still. If you want to try to straighten out your legs, it's even harder. Good job. Keep it up. Rotating side to side. 15 seconds. Good. Keep rotating. We got it. We got it. Four, three, two, one. Good. Scissor kicks in three, two, one, and go. Keeping your legs nice and straight. Don't let that low back arch. 10 seconds in, good job. Halfway. Try not to let those feet touch, we got it. Almost there, keep going, keep going, we got it. Keep that low back down. Four, three, two, one, excellent. Great job. Last one, our bird dogs, 10 on each side. Four point stance. We'll start with the right arm, left leg in three, two, one, and extend. One, two, keep that core braced. Tighten your stomach like you're about to get punched in the gut. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good. In three, two, one, other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Nicely done. Round two in the books. We got one more series through, then we finish with some stretching. Very nicely done. We'll go Russian twists. Take a little bit of time. Let yourself recover. We'll say about 10 seconds here, okay? But very nicely done. Four, three, two, one, and rotate. Last round, we got it. Good, keep going, keep going. You got it. Good, 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 good. Keep it going. Keep that core tight. Don't let the back arch. We're less than 10 left. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Scissor kicks. In five, four, three, two, one, and go. 30 seconds. Last round. Keep that low back down. Keep it up, we got this. 10 seconds, 20 left. Great work, we're almost there. 10 left. Good job, good job, almost done. Four, three, two, one, excellent. Good job. One last round of bird dogs. Home stretch. One, two, three. Tighten that glute as you kick that leg back. Six, seven, eight, two left. Nine and 10. Last round, go. Two, three, 
four, five, there we go, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Excellent. You did it. Another round in the books. Great job. So now we get into the stretching. First one we'll do is the hip flexor, since that might be a little bit tight and a little bit tired after that, uh, those scissor kicks. So getting into a kneeling position like so, and just that stretch is really, really easy. Tighten up the butt muscles and try to push that right hip forward, that point right below your hip joint. Try to drive that forward by tightening up your, hip, your butt muscle. Should feel a good stretch right at the top of your quad and the front of your hip. You're almost trying to tuck your hips underneath you. That should help to emphasize the stretch, keeping that knee dropped down to the ground. Good job. Usually you're gonna to wanna to hold your stretches for at least 30 seconds, and it's always a good idea to do them at the end of your workout when the muscles are already nice and loose and warm. You're gonna get a better stretch out of them. Two, one, and switch. We'll go to the other side. Two, one, and stretch. Pushing that hip forward, tucking those hips right underneath you. As we go through these stretches as well, if you need more time on any side, feel free to do it. Feel free to repeat the stretches. Just for the sake of time, we're only gonna go through one, so or one set on each leg. But if, again, if you need more time, if you need to stretch longer, feel free to do so. You cannot overstretch a muscle. So, meaning you can't do it for too long. There is no such thing as stretching for too long. Two, one, and good. Hip flexor, very nicely done. Piriformis, we're gonna do this one is a figure four. So this one's a little bit tricky, but you might have done it before. We're gonna take, start with the left leg, resting the outside heel right on the top of our thigh and letting that knee drop to the floor, creating a figure four position. Bend that right knee, and you should be able to put your left hand through the hole created by this left knee. Right hand goes underneath the thigh Interlock your fingers. You're just gonna pull that heel or that ankle of your left leg towards your chest. And you should feel a really good stretch in the deep part of your butt, that's your piriformis and your posterior hip capsule. Really, really tight and really restrictive in a lot of people. So it's always a good idea to stretch this guy out. You can always foam roll in the same position, just seated. Really, really good idea again to stretch this muscle for injury prevention. So I don't let my neck relax, head rest down. I'm just going to gently stretch that muscle out, pulling a little bit further as it starts to loosen up. Three, two, one. We're going to switch to the other side. So right ankle is going to go outside of the right ankle, is going to rest on the top of the left knee. Again, left or right hand goes through the hole created by that right knee. Left hand goes on the outside or underneath my left thigh, pulling that knee right towards your chest. In this instance, my right piriformis is definitely tighter than my left. Great job, guys. Way to make it through another core workout. I love doing this. These are definitely tight and definitely tough, and these muscles are always tight. As the gym opens, if you ever want to come in for a session just to help loosen up, find out what stretches you're looking to do or what stretches you might need, please come find me. I'm the fitness manager over at the West Dallas WAC. Uh, again, my email is jgerharts at the WAC.com. Feel free to reach out. I'll happily set you up with a session and a good stretching routine and relax. Good job. I've got one more stretch for us. It's a dowel stretch and it's phenomenal for our shoulder. I'm just going to grab a dowel real quick or a broom handle. Uh, I'll show you what you can use as options. So in this instance, we can just use a broomstick handle. Really, really easy. So in this instance, I'm going to stretch my left hand. Okay, left hand is gonna have my elbow tight to my body. Elbow is not gonna come off my body and I'm gonna keep my hand under hand position. Dowel or broomstick handle, 
goes in that hand and my right arm is gonna guide the stretch. So I'm gonna push the broomstick across my body, keeping that left elbow tight to my side. It's a great stretch for my rotator cuff. Don't let the elbow come off your side like this. Elbow stays tight and you're just pushing that arm into external rotation. External rotation meaning you're going from here to here with that left hand. The broomstick and this right hand is just helping to guide that stretch. Good. This is a stretching your, or the, your <laughs> stretching into external rotation. So it's stretching your internal rotators, which include your lats, your pec muscles, and one portion of your rotator cuff, which are all very good things to stretch. So switching to the other side, right elbow goes tight to your side, underhand position. This time the left hand is what's guiding the stretch. Pushing across my body, helping to open up those anterior muscles. Again, like your pec and your rotator cuff. You always want to stretch for at least 30 seconds. I think I mentioned that earlier. Uh, reason being is because the research is really, really, uh, I guess, in depth on it. If you stretch for anything less than 30 seconds, it doesn't do much for you. All it does is feel good for a little bit, but it doesn't give you an actual permanent release. So always want to stretch for at least 30 seconds. Good job. So this stretch actually has several different uh, positions you can go in. We just did the external rotation in that instance, but now what we'll do is we'll go into our abduction or taking our right hand in this instance, going up like so. So this time we're gonna have an overhand position. Left hand is gonna be guiding us, pushing out like so. Trying to push that broomstick handle up to the ceiling Great way to stretch your abductors, like your shoulders. I take that back, sorry, we're stretching into abduction, so we're actually stretching our adductors. So specifically, these muscles here are lats and our pecs. As this starts to loosen,